Welcome back to the All Things Real Estate Show. I am one of your co-hosts, Aaron Zapata. And I am that other co-host, Todd Anderson. That other co-host who sits across the desk from me as we record this show. That's right. And you know what? We're both bald. We are both bald, and hence the team name, the Bald Brothers Team at Impact Properties. That is correct. And let's get this out of the way. My license number is 01356534. And mine is 02077325. And Impact Properties, California Department of Real Estate license number is 01922671. And Todd, we want to say thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for tuning in, for listening week after week. These shows get released every week and we talk about everything pertaining to real estate. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's sad. Sometimes. We don't like those ones. We don't, but it's reality. Hey, when you're covering all things real estate, you got to cover all things real estate. The good, the bad, and the Todd. (laughs) You know. (laughs) Uh, Todd, who is also odd. Well, Well, hey, We have got an awesome show today because we're going to talk about a couple of things. First thing we want to talk about is wiped out. Someone who is wiped out, you're going to have to listen to the show to find out what that means. Wiped out. And we're also going to talk about living on a golf course. What if you have your home on a golf course? Perhaps you're out there and you might want to move to a golf course, or perhaps you live on a golf course, or perhaps you just like to golf. We're going to ask if living on a golf course is for you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> hey, we are both dads here at the Bald Brothers <laughs> team. <laughs> so maybe for you, and maybe not. Uh, we've got some funny stories to tell about that, and uh, we are excited about that. Before we get to those wonderful topics, let's just let them know where they can find us, Todd. You can find us at baldbrothers.tv. Dot TV. That's right. And you can also call us at 833-305-BALD. That's B-A-L-D as in Follically challenged. That's right. 833-305-BALD. Not a tennis ball, not a basketball. Bald, no hair. 833-305-BALD. And uh, when you get there, you will have somebody answer the phone. It's not going to be Todd or myself. They will take your name, your phone number, and they will forward the message to us. And we do like hearing from our listeners because we get to answer questions on this show that come to us from you. So thanks for being here. Hey, before we go into the being wiped out, I just got to tell you. That's ominous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, ha- it, it happened, though. So this I, I love living in Southern California. It's the market that we get to serve. Mm-hmm. It's where my wife and my kids uh, live. Well, one of them lives out of state now. That's for another show, like when your kids leave. Um, but th- this morning, I, I went to a, a group uh, with a group of men. We, we study the Bible, and we get to pray, and Afterwards, I got to go down by the beach because it's already halfway there from my house. And I walked Balboa Island. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, being able to do that and then go to the mountains, which I did today as well, by the way. That's right, you did. You had to drive up there. (laughs) And then I was at the mountains today. It is some of the reasons why living in Southern California is is so wonderful for so many people. That's right. Because it's right there. As much as we talk about people leaving California, there is a reason why people live here. And speaking of the mountains, this weekend, I'm going to the mountains. Are you? I and know that. Uh, yeah, I'm going up to the mountains. And uh, so that, yeah, California living. You've got you got the best of both worlds. Uh, but hey, we're talking about all things real estate. But I didn't, I'm not done with my story. Oh, okay. okay. I walked, well, let me I let you continue. around Balboa Island. And it doesn't matter what economy is happening, whether mm-hmm. it's a good one or bad one. It doesn't matter where the stock market is. There are always houses being rebuilt and refurbished. That is correct. I counted eight. Mm -hmm. And I I just walked the perimeter Mm -hmm. of the island. There's eight. And they're not just being like, hey, let's put on a new paint job. Mm -hmm. They've been ripped down to the ground. And they're rebuilding from the ground up. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what economy we are in. There's always activity going on in our luxury market. Yep. So if something's down there and you've got a property that you're looking at selling, we'd love to talk to you. We... Uh, definitely have investors who who purchase them if you want to sell it as is. But also, if you want to talk about the value and how to increase the value, we've got contractors that we work with to help homeowners mm-hmm. increase the value. That's right. All and, right. That's all I wanted to say. And we've 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 sold homes down there, and we've also highlighted some of those homes that are being rebuilt as well. That's so, right. Yep. Okay. 
Let's get into it. So, so if wiped out, I know people want to know what, what does it mean? Somebody being wiped out is like, did, did seal team six go in and, and eliminate a terrorist? What, what does it mean to be wiped out and how does that pertain to real estate? Well, I, ha we have clients and they were out looking at some properties and we had done this a number of times uh, and it's been a couple of months. Okay. It's been a couple of months since we went out and looked at properties and we finally found one that uh, husband and wife loved and we were going to write it off first. So I said to them, hey, before we write the offer, of course, we need to get an updated pre-approval letter. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to be looking at properties without a pre-approval letter. This is very important. Super important. <laughs> okay. If you do and you you find a thing you love, by the time it sells, you might not even have your pre-approval letter. So you got to get it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So we just needed an updated one. So I said, call the lender, get that updated letter, we'll get the offer over tonight, very simple protocol that we had followed before, mm -hmm. but not got our offers accepted. So we find the house, we give them the instructions, and a day goes by, crickets. Mm. Two days go by. Yeah. Crickets. So finally, I follow up, like, what's going on? And the wife responds, and she said, I've been erased. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger is coming in, right. the, the Eresa. The Eresa. <laughs> and, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And she said, when my lender went to run the credit, they literally said, my credit profile, including her name, her social security number, her phone numbers, her debt history, her, her addresses, completely erased. Really? You see, when you're even... Even like high schoolers, if they go on a credit card with their parents, mm -hmm. will have a credit Some profile. sort of, yeah, some sort of indication that they exist and they have some form of credit, whether it's good or bad. Right. But she didn't even have bad credit. She just had nothing. She didn't right. exist. <laughs> so it's not like she just had bad credit and was going to have to fix something. It literally said, you do not exist. Wow. You're gone. Like so does that mean she doesn't need to make her car payments and her well, that's credit what card she asked payments? Him. That's <laughs> what she asked him. She's like, how, how is this possible? I have student loan debt. I've got some car payments. I've got a mortgage payment. What? <laughs> that's one way to take care of the student <laughs> student loan debt forgiveness. Just erase people. Just erase <laughs> their simple. profiles. Why are politicians arguing over this? I it's a very no simple idea. solution. Super simple solution. <laughs> Now, we do not uh, promote those kind of activities, Todd. But no, we do the not. reality is, th that was a funny thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she called him up and she said, what is going on? And she essentially was told that she needed to send in physical proof mm -hmm. of her existence. Wow. So she had to send in, like, utility bill, mm -hmm. her birth certificate, mm -hmm. copy of her passport. She's starting all over her again. Her driver's license. Yeah in order to recreate from scratch her credit history. Wow. And we don't know where it stands yet because that wasn't that long ago, but she said it would take a few months, and basically they would recreate the profile, and then once the profile is recreated, that they would begin to attach to it mm -hmm. these existing lines okay. of credit. That was my so next question. Them, so they, okay, it. so she, she's starting all over again, and she will reestablish her already existing credit profile. Now, I don't think I've ever heard of this happening before. By, by the way, if you're tuning in online or if you're tuning in to our show right now, whether you're on the radio, online, uh, this is All Things Real Estate with the Bald Brothers team at Impact Properties. You can reach us at baldbrothers.tv. You can also call 833-305-BALD. That's B-A-L-D, 833-305-BALD. And we're talking about someone who had their entire credit History, not just her credit history, their, enti their entire existence as it pertains to a credit report being wiped out. Gone. Now, I was just saying, I've never heard of this happening before. Um, have you? Now, you've been in this business longer than I have. Have you ever come across a situation like this? Never. I've been a licensed broker for over 20 years. I have a mortgage company. Mm -hmm. We service hundreds of clients over the last couple of years. Never, ever have we ever heard of this. Even the lender that that was doing their loan and mm -hmm. is going to be doing their loan in the future. They have worked with thousands mm -hmm. of people for over almost three decades. Mm -hmm. Never before has this happened. Yeah. So quite interesting. Well, that, that does create a, an interesting question uh, because if you are trying to get a, a loan to purchase a home 
And by the way, we work with sellers, but we do also work with buyers, primarily sellers. But regardless, this affects a, a transaction. So if someone is trying to get, and all of a sudden their credit is wiped out. Now, there are loan programs for people that may not have established credit. A lot of people like to pay cash for everything. Right. Uh, you know, bank statement loans. There's different types of alternative loan programs out there for buyers with different types of credit profiles. Is there any one of those that would have solved the problem if this, if she didn't want to wait to reestablish this credit? Well, Todd, if this was 2005, <laughs> we'd probably say yes. Everybody was getting a There's loan There's a then. program yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Oh, you walked in here. Great. We have a loan for you. We got a loan for you and a loan for you and a loan for That's you. That's right. <laughs> you know, just take the money. Uh, yeah, no, no, because... The lender that they're working with is uh, is a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and uh, he has worked with some of the most difficult uh, credit history mm -hmm. people that I've ever worked with, and yeah. he's helped put things together. He's never seen this. Yeah. There's no loan program for somebody who has no profile. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you can have – there are loan programs for even people that don't have credit scores but have, like, uh, um, an identification number, mm -hmm. you know. That's fine. There yeah. are loan programs for people – that have profiles. Mm -hmm. She was gone. She just didn't exist. So what we're trying to wait to find out is, as they recreate her profile, if her credit score is going to go up. Yeah. That would be interesting. Now that would be. now Because how are they going to have history of any like late payments or anything? And exactly. I don't know what her credit score was before, but... It's got to start fresh. Hey, that's one way to repair your credit. <laughs> you know? Uh, okay, no, hey, we are not giving you ideas to do anything no. nefarious. This is just a, a, a unique type of situation. And you know what? I think we need to revisit this one because this story is still being played out. We are still working with this client, and uh, hopefully the next time we, we, we talk about this, we'll have a, a, a good, uh, pleasant ending yeah. to the story. And if anybody's wondering, mm -hmm. I called her and I said, are you okay if we talk about your scenario? Yeah. Because it's going to go on the radio and it's going to go on you know, yeah. online. She says, yeah, this is something for all of us to learn. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, like, are some of these companies out there that monitor your credit, would mm -hmm. they have no... No, like, they didn't. She has LifeLock. I don't know if it's LifeLock, but she she has okay. one of those credit monitoring yeah. things. No, I mean, how can you monitor something that disappears? It did, yeah. It's not right. like something new popped up on her credit score because she had nothing. Yeah. So we don't know how it's going to play out. We're going to keep you updated as we move along but i think that you know we can put a pause on this topic and uh, revisit this once her credit profile is recreated yep. we'll let you know how long it took uh, she did have to mail all that stuff in did i say that to a to an address in georgia oh no i don't think yeah, she, yeah. and she's like that's weird <laughs> i gotta like mail my stuff to a p.o box somewhere that and uh, okay that's where we're at all right that's where we're at. Well, st stay tuned <laughs> Hey, you're listening to the uh, to all things real estate with the Bald Brothers team at Impact Properties. You can reach us at 833-305-BALD, B-A-L-D. You can also check out, uh, go online to baldbrothers.tv. If you go there, you'll find all of our uh, contact information, not just the phone number, but our, our other website and all of our social media contacts. If you'd like to talk with us, we work primarily in Southern California, uh, working in all things real estate, primarily working with sellers, uh, but we love to, to meet with and advise people on real estate as well. I had a call from New York. Really? Yeah, they were listening to the show, called me up, asked a question. Well, hey. So, hey, you know what? I didn't know anything about New York, but I didn't know how to answer his question because it was a fairly basic question. So if you are buying or selling anywhere in the country, mm -hmm. United States of America, we can help you find a top professional in your area. And you know my daughter's going to be moving to New York. She is. And that's right. And I just today found out what her address is going to be. She's going to be living in Manhattan. Manhattan. So talk about uh, Primo Real Estate. Wow. Manhattan. That, we'll, we'll talk about that another day. She's going to pay $2,000 for a 200-square-foot <laughs> apartment, everybody. That's right. Uh, hey, before we go on, I just want to say thanks to our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Beacon Escrow. And if you're a seller, you get to choose the escrow closing company, and Beacon Escrow would like to help you light the way. You can visit them online at beaconescrow.com, or you can go to our website and click on their logo at baldbrothers.tv, and we have all of our affiliate sponsors and featured sponsors there. Thank Excellent. you, Beacon. Excellent. Thank you, Beacon Escrow. And once again, we are listening to all things real estate with the Bald Brothers team. And 833-305-BALD, uh, baldbrothers.tv. And we want to talk about our next topic today, mm -hmm. which is about living on a golf course. Now, well, Todd. Yes. How good do you golf? Okay. 
I knew this was going to come up. I was trying to speed along. This is you not a show. A, you think I'm going to glaze over that? This is not a show about Todd's golf game. Okay, no. so when anybody who knows me knows that I have about 15 different types of swings, just depending on the moment. Um, I do not golf enough to get any better. I golf enough, just enough to allow people to invite me. And the reason people invite me is to make themselves look good. No wonder I like <laughs> golfing with you. <laughs> and the, the problem is I don't have anybody to golf with me that will make me look good. So, uh, but I, I'm okay. You Are you know looking what? for volunteers? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. But you got You have to audition. You have to try out, and 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 your tryout has to be really bad. And if you can <laughs> outdrive Todd on the the range, or you can chip better, you're not qualified. <laughs> he needs somebody to make him look good. People, wow, Todd, welcome to uh, you know golfing in today's yes. day and age, where yes. everything's on television, everybody's recording everything. So. We should do a reel, like, on our Instagram page yeah. of, like, just you swinging. <laughs> we might like get, like, the, go viral. Yeah. Go viral. Uh, which which basket? Oh, uh, Charles Barkley. Remember his swing? Uh, I, no, I don't. My actually. swing is better than his. I think he's he's improved it, but uh, he, he has a pretty goofy golf swing. I have to say, my swing is better than his was several years ago. But Okay. Well, since we're comparing. Yeah. We have stories, right? Yes. So I was golfing in Anaheim Hills at the mm -hmm. Anaheim Hills Golf Course. And I used to have a terrible, absolutely terrible uh, fade. Mm -hmm. I went to a golf tournament one time. What, what, you're, you're bald. How do you have a fade? Exactly. <laughs> it's, it, it goes with the hairline. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> so I, I went to a tournament one year, and we had a, ca uh, um, we had a caddy with us. And uh -huh. so he was riding with us on the cart, and it was just me and my boss at the time. And he said, wow, I don't think I've seen anybody with such a great natural fade. And it was just because my ball would go so far to the right. In fact, I was golfing in, in, in a, a Corona in Hidden Valley, and the wind was right at our face, and I, and I golfed forward, and the ball went further backwards than it went forward because it was on a downward <laughs> slope on the next, on the next green, That's on funny. the next fairway going the other way. Anyways, beside the point, I got a hole-in-one in Anaheim Hills. Really? Yeah. But it was a hole-in-one window. <laughs> Okay. I knew there was a yeah. catch. Yeah. yeah. I've never had a hole in one, but I did get a hole in one window. Okay. And so living on a golf course can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. And this older couple was sitting in their kitchen at their kitchen table mm -hmm. eating breakfast. <laughs> and lo and behold, Mr. Zapata comes along and shanks one, not to the right, which is where I normally fade away from me, but I hooked it to the left. It's like the impossible shot uh -huh. in a really bad way. <laughs> And it went over a hill, blind hill, and went through a about an 18-inch opening between the top awning of their patio uh -huh. and a cement wall. Really? It literally cleared this tiny... So it really little, was like a hole-in-one. Like a hole-in-one, yeah. In one. yeah. Went right through their window, landed in their kitchen, and as I approached the green where, where they were, he walks out with a ball and says, anybody, this ball belong to anybody? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's mine. Uh, it's a very expensive way to prospect, by the way. Yes. To meet people. Yes, because you have to you have to repair it, right? I do, yeah. I do. You know, it's not a private course. If you break it, you buy it, and and so um, I got his name, his phone number, the address, and uh, called my window guy, and and by the end of the day, they had a new kitchen window, mm -hmm. but it was over three hundred bucks. That's because quick service. It was, it was one day service. I mm -hmm. wanted to get it fixed. Uh, that's not a way I recommend that realtors prospect. Yeah, and, and by the way, <laughs> it's much improved now, uh -huh. and I can I can firmly say this about you and about me. Uh -huh. We are better realtors than golfers. Yes. I'm just, yes. I just want to put that That, that I, I just can put say. And you know what? That's fine. I'll have a bad golf day all day, all day long as long as, as, right. long as right. it doesn't reflect right. my service as a, right. as a realtor. Yeah. So let's <laughs> talk about a couple good reasons why people live on the golf course. Yeah. And then obviously holes through your window and in your side yard and your broken, you know, roof stuff. Good yeah, reasons. Hey, bad reasons. by the way, if you're tuning in right now, if you're listening, we are all things real estate with the Bald Brothers team at Impact Properties. We are talking about living on a golf course, pros and cons. You can get a hold of us by calling 833-305-BALD. That's 833-305-BALD. Or go to baldbrothers.tv and you can get all of our contact information there as well. Baldbrothers.tv. Okay. You know, every time you like give that announcement, uh -huh. I take a drink of my coffee. <laughs> So I really like it when you do that. If you want a few, I yeah, can I can yeah, go longer if right. you need a few more sips. <laughs> no, no, okay. okay, so we're talking about the pros yeah. of property yeah. on a golf course. Yeah. Typically, they're worth more. Mm -hmm. That is true. 
because they've got unobstructed views, typically out of the backyard. Mm -hmm. Most people aren't, a, you know, front yard to the golf course. It's always the backyard. Mm -hmm. And so you have beautiful views. You've got lots of uh, breezes that come through, especially in Southern California. And it's just, in general, a pleasant place to live because they're more expensive, nicer homes, mm -hmm. nice communities. Most of them are gated. Not mm -hmm. all of them, but a lot of them are gated. Mm -hmm. So good reason. Yep. You have any other reasons? <laughs> oh, I, I was waiting for you to to talk about the negative. I think we've already talked about the negative reasons, uh, but no, that that the is a good reason. Negative reason is Todd uh, might golf on your golf course and 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 the privacy. Yeah, <laughs> if you get someone like me coming along, and the privacy, and, and you know, you don't have to worry about. Uh, obviously, during the day, you'll have golfers. Nighttime, you got total privacy. Mm -hmm. um, resale value is very good. Um, now, some people refuse to live on a golf course mm -hmm. because of the errant golf ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, the ball, the ball that just disappears or breaks something. Aaron's errant golf ball? Yes. And <laughs> we have a disclosure for that mm -hmm. that is in the statewide buyer and seller disclosure. Every mm -hmm. time someone sells a house, there's a form that we got to sign. And one of the paragraphs in there, it says, if you're buying on a golf course or near a golf course, mm -hmm. beware. Yep. Beware. Uh, thankfully, I don't think I've ever broken anything other than that window mm -hmm. that I knew of. Yeah. I have had other balls go off the course. Yeah. Uh, another good reason is that uh, for the most part, it will be nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of serenity. Yep. And there's a lot of peace. Mm -hmm. However, I think that is one side of the coin because the other side is those landscapers that keep that place looking beautiful. Oh, yeah. Are typically out there at six in the morning. Oh, yeah. Early and they're morning. out there like seven days a week. Yep. And yesterday I was golfing on the golf course. I golfed great, by the way. Didn't even lose a ball. Okay. I just did nine. I just did nine holes. And right in the middle of the day, they're tree trimming. Mm. And it was loud. Yeah. You know, we got chainsaws. We've got lots of stuff, a, a mulcher going on. I mean, it was loud. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, you know, people living right there. It's really loud all day mm -hmm. today. Yeah. So if you can deal with the noise that does come at times. You had a good opportunity to be at a peaceful place. Yep. But, you know, if you, if you own a home on a golf course and want to talk about uh, the possibility of selling, we'd love to talk with you, uh, talk mm -hmm. through the pros and cons of the market that we're in right now. We are all things real estate. We're the Bald Brothers team at Impact Properties. And uh, we'd love for you to give us a call, and we'd love to talk about your particular scenario and situation. You can reach us at 833-305-BALD. That's 833-305-BALD. And you can find us online at baldbrothers.tv. And we have a legal disclaimer at the very end of this show, which is basically covers us mm -hmm. from all legal liability. But we do want to give you advice if you are in the process of buying or selling. And Todd, you and I both know we get calls sometimes two years, three years mm -hmm. in advance as yep. people try to make decisions mm -hmm. about their home yep. and plans about their home and about their property and about their estates. Uh, in fact, I have an appointment coming up where the mom has moved into a home. They want to know, should they sell it now? Should they keep it and rent it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk over those options. Yeah. So if you are in the process of selling or thinking about selling your home, or if you own a business and you're looking for some commercial real estate, we also work with commercial real estate as well. Mm -hmm. And we can certainly help you through that process. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, Maybe so, this show is for you. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's not. And maybe you've been erased. <laughs> if you like what you heard, please go to our, our uh, podcast. We, we're on iTunes. We're on Amazon. We're on all those places. We'd love to get a five-star review. Let people know you heard about it. Share it. Comment. Subscribe. We are on YouTube. We're on Rumble. We're on all these different places where you can watch us talk about real estate. And if it's interesting to you, we'd love to hear from you. Yep. And you know, one other thing we'd love to hear from you is if you would like to, us to cover a specific topic as well on these shows. These are weekly shows and we have a whole bunch of things that we have planned to talk about, but maybe you have something that you really want to hear about. Reach out to us and, and we'd be happy to add it to our repertoire. Our repertoire. What a good... <laughs> Todd, you have some fa fabulous I'm words. Fancy. You have some <laughs> fabulous words like uh, uh, accoutrements. accoutrements. I, learned, yes. I learned that from you. So if somebody's watching this right now and they're like, what did he just say? It's accoutrements. That's and right. I still don't know what it means, but Todd is happy to educate you. So we'll, call us. We'll do a whole at, show on that. At 833-305-BALD. And we look forward to speaking with you. May God bless you and keep you and have an awesome day. <laughs>